Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Foreign Correspondents Club of Japan. My name is Khaldun Azhari. I'm moderating this event today. I'm a member of the club. And thank you again for coming early today for this early lunch. I hope you enjoyed it as much as you uh, will enjoy our uh, speaker's speech today. It will be, of course, about the Japanese uh, upcoming elections. It's the main news in Japan right now, and uh, that's why we cannot take vacations, uh, journalists. We have to stay around until the after elections. But maybe we are lucky enough that uh, one of our uh, speakers today, Mr. Uh, Takao uh, Yoshikawa, is, uh, Toshikawa is going to talk about the after elections uh, aspects. Of course, uh, he's next to the my next right, Mr. Takao Toshikawa, editor-in-chief uh, of the publication Inside Line. And he is a very veteran uh, analyst and journalist in, in work in Japan, and he's a member of our club. And uh, to, uh, to my very right is Professor Stephen Reed, a professor of policy studies at Chuo University. And he will talk about some uh, issues related to the elections. Uh, we know that the main issue in these elections is the uh, constitution amendment and if the ruling parties will uh, gain two-thirds of the seats and also the participating, uh, the participation of the young people uh, in the elections. And uh, each speaker today will give us about uh, 15 to 20 minutes. That will be followed by questions and answers. We, are, we have to finish the session at 1 o'clock sharp because our guest has to leave uh, at that time. And uh, at the very right, let me introduce uh, Ms. Miho Hashimoto, our interpreter uh, today. And uh, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to start our uh, press uh, event. Uh, Mr. Professor Reed will start first his insights. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, first, I should apologize that I'm the reason for the early start. I live in Hachioji and have a class after this, so I <laughs> it takes a while to get back. Uh, the title I chose is, this will be in an important election. We will learn a lot. The sort of other half of that, uh, the other side of the coin is, we don't know a lot. <laughs> uh, the one thing we do know is the, uh, is the fundamental outcome. I mean, I don't, there's no reason to think, uh, based on what we know now, that uh, uh, the LDP and the Komeito won't gain a majority. So that's not the, not the real problem here. We'll learn a lot about other things uh, afterwards. First, let me advertise my books. Uh, there, I put them on there so you can all know that uh, 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 these are wonderful books. They uh, make good presents. Yeah, everybody should have at least uh, one copy. I should mention that the Japan Decides books are extremely expensive, uh, and uh, the second one is not well edited. We will try to change that. If there's an election this year, it'll be this year. Uh, the Komeito book is cheap, but hard to get a hold of. Uh, it's not on Amazon in Japan. Anyway, there they are. Uh, in 1960, the uh, Jap Japanese electorate split over uh, what is called the Ampo cleavage. Ampo is the uh, security treaty uh, of 1960. And it was a huge event, and it set the pattern for <coughs> Japanese politics uh, thereafter, and including today. Although it's been it's been losing power over the, over the over the years, as most do. Uh, we for a long time. It wasn't long ago. It wasn't very long ago that uh, journalists used to ask me, "What if Ishihara Shintaro forms a party and plays the nationalist card?" And I always said. There is no nationalist card. Nationalism is a vote loser, not a vote winner. But I didn't say so with confidence because there was no evidence. There is currently evidence. It's not a vote winner, it's a vote loser. Uh, the uh, uh, party that represents the, this uh, set of issues the most clearly, the party for future generations in the last election, uh, Nihon, uh, the Kokoro, is actually said called Kokoro in English, uh, uh, in, uh, is the current uh, manifestation, has been a very, has won no, hardly any votes. Uh, the only time they get anybody elected is if they are, have a guy, they find a candidate who is going to win no matter what, uh, can win under any nomination, 
can win without a nomination, is going to win anyhow, and they don't, their votes don't increase if you look at what that happens because they are running for the party of future generations. Uh, I'll, I'll skip the part about Tamagami there, but you know, their, their, most, their best known candidate uh, did not perform well at all. The uh, party itself uh, has only f uh, four seats at the present time and probably will wind up with less thereafter uh, after the election. There is no nationalism card. Is there a peace card? <laughs> well, uh, that's what we're going to have the first clues uh, uh, since, uh, since 1960. Uh, I don't have any guesses uh, even, let alone hypotheses, but, but what we'll find out is if it works, if there is anything to the other side of the, of the, uh, of the coin. Uh, let me say one more thing about uh, Prime Minister Abe. Uh, Prime Minister Abe, you, the one thing that people tend to forget almost immediately uh, is how bad the first Abe administration was uh, and <laughs> how, how much the LDP, the LDP was totally rejected in 2009. Uh, the Democrats didn't win as much as the LDP lost. Uh, the, the performance was horrible. Uh, the thing that happened during those three years and three months out of power, though, however, was that Abe seemed to have learned a lot. He's gotten really good. He understands uh, better than any, ever, any prime minister ever what the current, situ current uh, political situation requires in order to get things passed. Uh, he's, re he's really learned a tremendous amount. And uh, the Democrats have not. <laughs> uh, uh, the only thing he, he's, he's learned, first of all, not to try to sell it as a main issue. He's not, try, he's not putting constitutional revision at the front of his agenda. Uh, uh, he gets things accomplished without causing too much trouble through stealth, uh, misdirection, and spin doctoring. Uh, all of these things I'm not criticizing because I am a political scientist and I know that the way to get things done is stealth, misdirection, and uh, spin doctrine. <laughs> so uh, this is not meant as a criticism, but in some ways the uh, revision of the Constitution without revising the Constitution was a brilliant move uh, if you believe that you, know, you should revise the Constitution. Um, so it was, a, it was a wonderful strategic move, uh, and it worked. Uh, misdirection, I mean, that's standard practice in politics. So don't talk about the issues you're... Uh, weak on talk about the issues you're strong on, but he's managed to do it uh, much better than anybody before, and he's managed to do it s way better than the Democrats have been able to bring their issues to the fore, partly because they're not unified enough to bring their own issues to the fore. And then spin doctoring is the one that's the clearest and is probably of the most interest to this audience. Uh, uh, he uses big data. He uses the Twitterverse or whatever you want to call it. And uh, uh, so when he sees that saying this m produces lots of criticisms, he stops saying it. He does not necessarily change his policies. He changes his, uh, his framing. This also is standard practice. And, and, uh, and of course, as I'm an American, and American presidents are awfully damn good at this, uh, uh, of taking something that really sounds really bad and fi making it sound pretty good, or reverse. Taking <laughs> so uh, this is also not a criticism. The first one was on restarting nuclear power plants, where he was really, every time he said restart nuclear power plants, his uh, criticism increased. And so he stopped saying it. And his whole uh, uh, line became, if you ask him about nuclear power, he'd say, safety first, we're going to leave it up to the experts, and then he would leave out the last part, and then we will restart the nuclear power plants. <laughs> this is very wise politics. In the current situation, the constitutional revision, if you look at their current pamphlet, the LDP's current pamphlet, uh, is uh, at the very last paragraph, in small print, is about constitutional revision. It doesn't start off with the word constitutional revision. It starts off with, based upon a national consensus, right? good spin doctoring. Uh, one would hope that the balance of spin doctoring expertise would even out sooner or later. Okay. Uh, does the peace card have a, have a, have any legs? Well, we've seen demonstrations. Uh, there's, there's, and in some ways, more than most people expected, more than I expected. Uh, the one thing we've seen that's probably most interesting is the number of young people out there demonstrating uh, against uh, uh, collective defense, et cetera, and and, and uh, revising the constitution. That is a surprise. 
uh, if you look prefecture by prefecture, you see that are lots and lots of random, well, random, uh, uh, unorganized groups of all kinds uh, have come together to do this. They're not, it's nothing like 1960, that's for sure, but there's some. And they've had one serious major accomplishment that is quite surprising. Uh, they got the, first of all, the making the demand was surprising. They demanded that the opposition offer only one candidate in the single member districts. That's first of all wise, and so, but it, it worked. And the fact that it worked in every single one is a remarkable accomplishment. It's something that I would have bet against, I would have put good money against actually, uh, but it happened. So that is that. And then the other one is of course the communists cooperating with uh, the rest of the opposition. Uh, this is a potentially important fact. Uh, the uh, uh, two prior parties of the old party system were the Komeito and the, and the communist. The Komeito has been integrated into the system. Uh, this may mean that the communist will be two. It may not, but it, it may. So what happens to electoral cooperation will be important, uh, whether it changes the outcome or not. Uh, Komeito is in a, uh, in a more trouble this time than they have been in the past. Uh, it's hard to tell whether the protests, the Komeito, uh, Sokogakai members and Komeito members have been seen in and covered in uh, protesting against constitutional revision and that kind of thing, which has been the longstanding position of Komeito and Sokogakai. Uh, this is the first time these, have, these kinds of protests have hit the newspapers. We don't actually know whether the protests are bigger or smaller than they used to be uh, because there were also protests before that didn't hit the newspapers, so we have no real way of comparing. Nevertheless, uh, we know that several different Komeito candidates are very worried that they're not going to get as many Sokogakai votes and many Komeito votes as they did in the last election and are seeking LDP votes. And the LDP is not, uh, is getting, gaining confidence, which is perfectly reasonable, they're doing well. and. Uh, less willing to uh, direct some of their voters to vote for Komeito. How will that work out? Uh, the second thing, of course, is how will, uh, how will all of the uh, cooperation among uh, uh, the opposition parties work out? It's also extremely hard to tell. Uh, uh, in fact, the only thing we really know about it is that if it continues, it will work better the second time than it did the first, because the first time it never works very well. So we'll see how that works out. Uh, the, uh, what will uh, 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 change people's minds if they change? Uh, we got to remember that there are a lot of people still undecided and there are a lot of young people who have never voted before. And there's people who are presumably open to, open to changing their minds. It will not be Abenomics. Uh, Abenomics is, uh, uh, everybody has to talk about it, it is important. But uh, the average voter is not going to make up his mind on the basis of Abenomics. I must offer my heartfelt thanks to the British people for providing a wonderful example of this basic principle. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, rational arguments about economics uh, do seldom move votes because everybody can do it and they can take any side and sound perfectly rational. The only thing that's really important about debates over economics is whether you can sound convincing. And Abe has mastered this much better than any prime minister before him. Uh, he can argue with the head of Kedanran and hold his own. He feels really confident talking about it. He may be right, he may be wrong, but whether that's not the part that the voters can see. What the voters can see is that he's confident. The other thing they can see is, however, the results. Uh, so there aren't a whole lot of results yet. Uh, they can quote a lot of numbers, but the kind of things that voters feel have not yet been positive. We'll see how that works out. Uh, the other thing that will, um, might, well, the big thing will be peace. Uh, the big thing that might change, I, I continue to say might because there's no guarantee on this, might change minds if their minds are changed is peace. And the reason is very simple, the same reason that uh, immigration uh, was the thing that moved votes uh, the, of the British people. Uh, it's simple issue. Uh, uh, been on the agenda for a long time. Everybody has a sort of gut feeling about it, and you can say, and you can, you, you, f you it doesn't. You don't have to listen to a bunch of rational arguments to to do it, uh, to vote on it. The other thing that's really interesting to watch uh, for for 
some for several reasons is the is the agricultural vote. Uh, uh, the place to watch it is Yamagata. Uh, Yamagata has a uh, everybody uh, uh, farmers well no kill the farm uh, cooperatives hates TPP and wants to make it go away. Uh, they, the two candidates in Yamagata as an opposition candidate that has a long-standing uh, uh, opposition to TPP. The candidate, uh, the LDP candidate, is a agricultural person who came from the agricultural community, who is now taking the uh, stance that TPP is a good thing for agriculture, and uh, uh, but the farmers don't appear to be buying that. But the main thing that happened in Yamagata was that uh, the NOKYO, the No, no Seiden, the uh, political organization of the farmers, did not endorse either candidate. And the reason they did not is because there were two arguments. One is we should try to, you know, the obvious one that uh, most political scientists pay attention to is uh, we disagree with TPP, we should vote against it. That's pretty straightforward. The other side is we have to stay close to the government. We have to stay close to the party in power. This is the thing that kept, one of the things that kept the LDP in power for so long because you used to uh, be able to say with certainty, no matter what happens in this election, the government will be the LDP. Uh, so uh, that, you know, you, you have to stay close to the government. Uh, and this, how much that pulls, whether you still stay close to the government or decide to vote your own uh, preferences. Preferences are not necessarily interests. <laughs> preferences as against, LDP, uh, against TPP uh, interests may be in favor. The final thing to say is the third force is moribund, except for uh, the possibility of Osaka uh, re restoration, I guess is the current translation, but it's Osaka Yishin. Uh, Osaka Yishin, uh, the reason it's not moribund is, an, uh, is really simple. Uh, it's, they are a local party. Uh, they have a very strong base in Osaka and influence right next door. The thing to watch about them is, okay, a, a con prediction without a whole lot of uh, backing, but some. Uh, they won't win hardly any seats outside of Osaka or uh, the immediate kinky region. There may be some candidates they've got that will win no matter what, but for the most part, they're not going to win. Osaka Yashin, as itself, will not win anything outside of, out of that area. Again, I thank the British people for providing the wonderful answer. Uh, uh, in the Scottish National Party, <laughs> uh, the, in a two-party system, uh, it is very hard to establish a third party. Ask the Lib, Lib Dems in Britain, they will tell you the same thing. Uh, but if you have a local base, you can. Uh, Osaka has one, uh, Osaka Yishin has one, as the, not anything nearly as strong as the SNP, but nevertheless they have one and they therefore might survive. The things that will happen after the election, for the most part, I will uh, 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 leave to the next speaker, but the uh, one thing to say is that these kinds of changes, how it's interpreted right after the election, what can make a difference in the long run. Does the peace issue have legs? Well, if it does, uh, uh, electoral cooperation among the um, opposition parties may last. If it doesn't, it won't. So, uh, it'll, and the two-party system will have to start from scratch again. Thank you very much, Mr. Toshikawa. Please. Hi. Toshikawa, desu. Yoroshiku. Working press table ga soto aiteru ということはですね、もう今度の参議院選の結果が見えてるので。え、結構、ここの場に来て、話を聞く必要がないと考えておられるんではないかと理解しております。My name is Toshikawa. Thank you for having me today. I see that the working press table is quite vacant today. I guess it means that people have a good visibility on the result of the upper house and feel that there is no necessity to hear this session out. え、まあ、それでも一応、私に課せられたテーマの一つは、参議院選挙の、まあ、予測、それから参院選後の日本の政局について話すわけですから、まず前者から一応お話したいと思います。But still, I would like to stick to my role of explaining two points, mainly the electoral forecast and also post-election、uh, policies. リード先生のお話の中にもありましたけれども、えー、今回の参議院選挙においては、32ある、えー、いわゆる一人区で、野党統一候補が自立できたというのは、いずれにしても先例がない画期的なことであったのは事実ですが
。この焦点の32の選挙区の勝敗の結果は、えー、ほぼ間違いなく野党候補が相当大きな敗北を喫するということです。Okay. So you... Ms.、Uh, Professor Reed has spoken parts of what I'm going to say,、uh, but we have the so called、uh, single seat districts right now, 32 of them,、uh, with the opposition party、uh, joining forces together. And this As a fact, is unprecedented, but the forecast is that in most of these 32 single seat uh, districts, uh, we can almost definitely say that the opposition party will have a big defeat.、えーまえー、そして甲信越の長野、そして沖縄、以上の5つの1人区においては、野党統一候補が勝利するのはほぼ間違いありません。And I said a big defeat in most of the、uh, districts. So, which are the ones that I predict will win? Well, I'm sure that from going from north, Iwate Prefecture, and the prefecture of Yamagata, which Professor Reed talked about, Miyagi, and then Nagano Central, and then down south, Okinawa. These five districts will see a win in the opposition party. あるいは政党別に行われている個別の調査を見る限り、接戦と言われている県は、この一人区ですが、以下の通りです。まず、福島、そして山梨、そして三重、大分、もう一つあるな。青森。青森、青森ごめんなさい。青森ですでこの中で、えー、現時点でそのマスコミ各社の情勢調査結果では大体五分五分とされていますが、えー、実は先週末 NHK が行ったあ調査がありますこれはあの出口調査といって、えー、事前に投票部前つまり期日前投票というシステムを取ってますが、この投票所に NHK はお金と人員がたくさんありますので、全部貼り付けてですね、3万件のサンプルを取りました。その結果を見ますと、接戦と言われているところでは、ほぼどの選挙区でもですね、この期日前投票では、自民党候補が野党統一候補を上回っている結果が、えー、先週の土曜日、日曜日の出口調査で出ています。And also, there are some early survey predictions from the、um, uh, press, or there's a party individual surveys going on. And according to these results, we know that in five prefectures, there is a close match、uh, between the ruling LDP、uh, against the opposition. And those five prefectures, again, single seat districts are Fukushima, Yamanashi, Mie, Oita, and Aomori. But looking at the results of the NHK exit survey that they have、uh, announced last weekend on Saturday and Sunday,、um, th there is something called the、uh, pre elections, the pre date actual elections. And at the exit of this, NHK, with their abundant resource, have put a lot of people at the exit uh, to uh, measure 30,000 samples. And looking at this result, it seems like in all five districts that I just mentioned, there will be more. More votes for LDP candidates than the opposition. あの今、NHK がアナウンスしたと言いましたが、公表はしていません、この調査結果は。And I translated announce, but it actually was not public. It's not announced. この5つの接戦を展開している選挙区で、自民党候補が野党統一候補に対して3勝2敗という結果になったとした場合にはですね、えー、いわゆる32の選挙区の勝敗は、えー、自民統一候補が最大で、えー、26、えー、野党統一候補が8あ、失礼、えー、26ですから6ですね、それで最小でですね、えー、24、ないしは22対10、24対8、いずれにしても
はっきりしていることは、えー、野党統一候補が当初目的とした32のうち10選挙区で勝利するという設定した目標に到達しない。加えて、えー、岡田克也民進党代表の地元の三重でも、現在、野党候補は劣勢です。これに負けた場合に、えー、岡田代表の隕石辞任問題、えー、まあ、一応9月の代表選までは、あそのまま、続投するにしてもですね、えー、はっきりしていることはですね、えー、野党のーリーダーシップの中で、えー、代表、幹事長、選対委員長等の交代といったことがもうすでに、えー、参院選後政局に盛り込まれています。それはどのような意味を持つのかというと、えー、参院選挙後に、えー、行われる東京都知事選の候補者選定にも影響してくるし、都知事選挙そのものにも影響が出てくるということです。Okay. So, uh, uh, Um, if the LDP wins against the opposition by three to two, three victories and two、uh, defeats,、yes. then the total result of the 32 single districts would be LDP,、uh, led, uh, LDP versus opposition would be maximum 26 for LDP and six for opposition. Minimum 22 or 24, which would be either 26 to six or 24 to eight or 22 to 10. Uh, in any sense, it is clear that the goal that the opposition parties have put up, which is 10 victories out of 32, is not going to happen. Even looking at Mie Prefecture, where uh, uh, Mr. Okada, the leader of the Democrats, is,、uh, is his home ground,、uh, you can see that、uh, the opposition party is losing as of today. So that would lead to the discussions of whether he should step down. I mean, he will continue until September, but.、Um, We would have to,、uh, they would have to talk about the change in the leadership, the heads and the chairpersons of the parties,、uh, right after the results of the upper、uh, house election is seen. And also, it would impact <coughs> the、uh, selection of the candidates for the、uh, governor election in Tokyo, and of course, the ultimate result of that as well. Why the government has been in the election, in the election, えー、増添問題で、あれほど大きなネガティブな、えー、影響を受けたはずにもかかわらず、えー、自民党が選挙戦で堅調、勢いがあるというようなことになっているかを説明したいと思います。But we remember the Masazoe incident very recently, you know, and we know that it had a dire impact on the LDP right before the announcement of this election. But why is it that the LDP and, and its uh, uh, coalitions are doing a, a pretty good、uh, progress in the elections? Why are they steady? Why do they have momentum? I am the President of the President of the President. 必ずしも組みするものではありません。Mm. しかし、ジャーナリストとして、まあ、40年やってきた中で、私は自分に課している一つの役割、私が果たしていかなければならない役割は、ファクト・ファインディング・ライターであり続けると。But I still must stick to my own、uh, commitment, which is to be the fact finding writer as a journalist、uh, running for 40 years now.、えーえー、ーま so I must be fair and I must talk about the facts when I speak of Prime Minister Abe.、まあ、okay, it's the first thing I'm going to say is, well, Maybe I should say, unfortunately, Prime Minister, Minister Abe is popular.、えーえー、ここ500 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 
、まあ、いわゆるサポーターがいるわけでもないにもかかわらずです。これがファクトです。Okay. So that, uh, And when you look at what's going on on the streets in these、uh, districts,、uh, he、um, of course has the local newspapers involved. And when the audience is、uh, a scale of about 500 to 1,000 people, then 70% of them will be on the streets with him, listening to his speech seriously and ending with a big round of applause. And it doesn't necessarily include some of the LDP supporters in the crowd. Duba, naze ninki arunka? Watashi ni tottu mo. 皆さんにとっても不思議だと思います。一言で言うとですね、もちろん先の伊勢島サミット、それに続くオバマ大統領の広島訪問などといった外交的成果、それも具体的な成果を上げたことも大きいと思います。One thing is he has some real accomplishments, the Ise Shima Summit and、uh, the uh, President Obama's visit to Hiroshima. それ以上に国民がかなり深い自覚を持って安倍評価をしているのは安倍さんがこの3年半に余る第二次内閣発足以降を見ていると総理大臣としてネーションリーダーとして決めるときは決める人だこのようなネーションリーダーはかつていなかったと。こういう印象を強く覚え、そしてそれが多くの有権者にすり込まれているとしか考えられません。And、uh, more than these diplomatic accomplishments,、um, the reason why the, the nation, the citizens appreciate Abe、uh, with, very, with very strong intent is because of all the things that he has actually accomplished in the past 3.5 years, three and a half years,、um, as a prime minister, as a national leader. Actually, he gets the job done. This is the kind of impression that the citizens, the voters, have、uh, deeply in their mind. したがって参院選挙では安倍さんが6月1日に約束した自民公明で改選議席の過半数を取ることを目標とするといった公約をはるかに上回る議席を自民公明で獲得し参院選後の安倍一強体制はさらに盤石なものになる。So that's why I forecast that、um, as a result of the upper house election, we will see a very strong uh, victory uh, for the LDP Kome coalition as he has committed to in June 1st, actually、uh, achieving much more than the majority of the seats up for grabs this time. And so the sole leadership or the、uh, sole strength of the Abe, uh, Abe uh, administration will become even stronger. まず、参院選挙後に直後に行われる内閣改造及び自民党役員人事、そしてその次に、当初予定よりも秋の臨時国会をほぼ1ヶ月前倒しして、8月下旬に招集し、2016年度の第2次補正予算として、10兆円から12兆円規模の大型補正予算を組んで、いわゆる総合景気対策を発表するということを通じて、この秋までに、まあ、現在、1万3000円まで下がらなかったわけですが、えー、現在の1万5000円の株価を、まさに政権の命綱、株価であると言われているこの今の政権ですから、これを1万8000円台後半まで戻して、えー、タイドル為替レートについても、105円から110円のゾーンになんとか、なることを願いつつ、えー、秋の政治の時期を迎える腹積もりです。So, right after the upper house election, what will happen is the, well, we'll have the cabinet reshuffle and then the appointing of the party executives. And then the extraordinary、uh, session that was planned in August will be pulled forward a month to、uh, late August. And so, there they will talk about the uh, second uh, supplementary budget 
of a scale of 10 to 12 trillion yen so that they can mobilize their policies uh, for the overall uh, economy or, uh, of Japan and take countermeasures. And through this, they would like to see the stock prices go up. Uh, it hasn't gone down to 13, uh, um, uh, 13,000 yet, but it has gone down to 15,000. So we'll try to push that up to somewhere uh, between 18,000 or close to 19,000. Uh, because you know that the stock price is the lifeline to the administration. And also in terms of currency against the dollar, trying to, try to bring that uh, back to 105 to 110, hopefully. And that is how they would probably welcome the season of autumn. The question of the election is the time of the election. Tanigaki Sadaichi Gen Kanjichou え、辞任するのはほぼ間違いなく私の見立てではその後任には現在外務大臣の岸田文雄さんが就任するものと思われます。その神社別としてこの今申し上げた安倍一強体制の中で安倍さんはこの秋以降何をして and in terms of the uh, party executive um, HR affairs, uh, I'm pretty sure that the current uh, uh, chairperson, Mr. Tanmigaki, will resign, and instead Mr. Kishida, the current foreign minister, will step up. I'd also like to talk about what Prime Minister Abe uh, is probably intending to do after the autumn season. Secretary General. Uh, so, Mr. Tamigaki is the Secretary General. Excuse me. Uh, 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 G20 首脳会議に出席しさらに11月17から19日ペルーの2場で行われる北欧首脳会議に出席しますこの3つの大きな首脳会議国際会議の首脳会議において今一つもう一度プーチンと会談するつまりこの夏以降安倍プーチンが2回
80% になります。And, and then、um, he's going to have the meeting in、uh, December in Tokyo or either Yamaguchi. And if he can put together a package with his talks with Russia, which includes three points one, the territorial issues, second, the peace pact, and third, the economic cooperation between、uh, Japan and Russia, if he can put that together as the new approach to Russia,、uh, so called. And、um, let's say he can also get the job done of having two of the four、uh, northern islands returned to Japan、uh, uh, on the calendar of、uh, somewhere like 2020, January 1st, then that would be a huge accomplishment. On top of that, if he can get the、uh, peace. Uh, The peace pact concluded between Japan and Russia, then I would believe the support for the Abe administration will shoot up to something like 80%. Eh, so, Kantan de Anai Kotoa, Tozen desga, Karini, so you, Mito Shiga Tateba, Abe Sanwa, Apex, Shino Kaigi, Kara, Kikoku, Sru, Juichi Gats, no, Gejun, Ni, Shugin, O, Kaisan, Ste, So, Senkenu, Utter, Tsmari, Nen, Nai, So, Senke, O, Okona, Te, 参議院選の勝利をバネにして、現在の衆議院の290議席を300を超える議席にする。そこから来年になって安倍さんの自民党総裁の任期が18年9月に切れますが、安倍さん、どうかもう一期3年続投してほしいという声を起こさせる。すなわち1989年の中曽根さんと同じケースです。なぜそのようなことを狙うか。先ほどリード先生の話も出ましたが、今回の参院選では、一切、口中にチャックをして、憲法改正を異臭化しない。しかし、安倍晋三の政治家としての悲願は、憲法改正です。仮に、もう一期三年やれば、2021年9月までです。それまでに、安倍さんは、憲法改正をしたい。と同時に2020年の東京オリンピックを首相として迎えたい。仮に21年9月まで総理を、総裁を続投できれば、戦後最長不当距離を誇る佐藤栄作さんの7年8ヶ月を越すことになります。まあそのような野心をどこか頭の片隅に入れてるのは間違いないと思います。Okay. And so、uh, these are some of the schedules that we、uh, know exist, and the ambition is there. And having、uh, put these out, it's, we all know that it's, easy not to,、uh, it's not easy to accomplish all of these. But、um, as time pass passes, if these become more and more realistic, then he will be able to have a great success in the APEC meetings at the end of November, dissolve the lower house, go into general election by the end of this year. And、uh, this is how he would take the momentum after the victory in the upper house election,、uh, elections and、uh, make sure he has mo、uh, more than 300 seats in the lower house. Then, what would happen is that people will be asking Prime Minister Abe, please continue for another three years next year. Then that would allow him to continue、uh, as long as、uh, Prime Minister Nakasone in 1989. Why? Well, Professor Reed talked about it a little bit, but that is because Abe has zipped his mouth, mouth for the most controversial issue of、uh, constitutional amendment. But we all know that it is in his head somewhere that he wants to accomplish the amendment. And so, if he can continue another three years, that is until September of 2021, then he will have the time to accomplish the amendment. On top of that, he can welcome the Olympic Games、uh, in 2020 as the Prime Minister. And、um, if he can continue until 2021, September, then that would be as long this time as Sato Eisaku, who has been incumbent for seven years and eight months, and he will be able to exceed that. It's probably his ambition, although he never talks about it. Thank you very much for your、uh, good news for Mr. Abe. Now I would like to open the floor. For questions and answers.、Uh, who would like to take the first question? Please proceed to the mic and、uh, let us know your uh, uh, name and to whom you would like to address your、uh, question. 